Hi, it's Melissa K and I'm back with another video. So today I wanna do a quick grocery haul from a community herbal and natural grocery store um, in Atlanta called Sevenanda. It is east of Atlanta and you know, it's the bomb. They sell everything. They sell like anything you need that's organic, fresh, um, vegetarian, vegan, they got all of that stuff. And then they have a whole wellness section and they have a lot of knowledgeable people who can answer your questions. It's like one of the best places. It's like one of the best herbal stores in Atlanta, honestly. They do sell vitamins, they sell, you know, they got that whole loose herbal section, which most vitamin places do not have. And it's located on the east side of Atlanta. And I'm just gonna show you some of the items that I bought. What I like most about this store is that they have a big loose herb section where you can buy herbs that can treat any element in your body. They provide you with gloves, a scoop, and you can scoop as much herbs as you want. It's easy to find new herbs that you may not have known about. I'm going to show you guys what I got from there and why I decided to buy it. So first, I'm gonna start with the soursop leaves. So I bought about four packs of these and I gave one to my mother. Um, no, actually I bought a little bit more. So I bought one, two, three, four, and five. I bought five, but I gave one to my mom. So basically um, I like to keep soursop leaves in my arsenal because soursop is good for like almost every element you could possibly suffer from. Um, but the main reason why I like to drink soursop every week is because it helps to actually cure and kills cancer and it prevents cancer as well. So with cancer being on the rise, the way I'm trying to keep my body healthy is to make sure that I keep this in my diet consistently. Another herb that I bought was, um, this is cancer tumor tea. And this is just something that I'm, you know, using every week as well, because I've known so many people that died of cancer within the last few years. So I'm really concerned. So I'm starting to drink um, things that actually prevent cancer. I'm including that in my diet as a part of my staple, basically. Um, another thing that I bought was bladder rack. And bladder rack is like, it's a plant that grows in the ocean. Um, but this is the powder form of it. I'm gonna start using it in my smoothies. Um, this is something that a um, herbalist, a world-renowned herbalist who was um, murdered, he actually always recommend this with the Irish moss. So this is, I couldn't find this in the capsule or the pill form, but when I went there, they had it. And I was like really impressed because I couldn't find it at all. So, um, so I bought that along with sea moss. Now this sea moss is actually a lot different from what I usually get. Um, Cause I usually buy my sea moss or Irish moss from the local Jamaican grocery store, but they had this one there and it was actually Tanzanian sea moss. And it looks so much different from what I'm used to getting. It just looks better because it's darker. And um, there's a little bit of lighter color sea mosses, but it's, this is like a dark, maroonish color with like a darker brownish color. And it just looks different to me. It looks a little bit more natural, more pure, and it's not like just white filled with like salt. So I feel like this is like the real deal right here. It was really expensive. Just one, look at it. It's not, this is like maybe a handful, okay? Which is about a cup. It was $9, so it was pretty pricey. Or $9.99, let me look at the receipt. Because the ones that I usually buy, I buy them for like $3.99 a pack. Yeah, it was $9.12. This is called dried red sea moss. Yeah. So um, I'm just ecstatic. I'm, I can't wait to use this. I'm going to soak it tonight and um, boil it tomorrow. Another thing that I got 
our organic apricot seeds and apricot seeds also helps to prevent cancer. Um, just look that up. These are very potent and they give you um, rules on why you shouldn't even take like two seeds, like more than two seeds at a time. Um, like for instance, I'm gonna read you what it says on these directions. It says we do not recommend more than two seeds per hour. So that's how potent these are. And they say to start with one and no more than five seeds in one day. They're very, very bitter. So I just might put this in my in one of my smoothie drinks. Um, and then I bought some, um, I like incense, incenses. <laughs> and I bought a few incenses. Um, one of the incenses that I bought is called Copal. Now, copal is a very light incense, so it's not strong to where it makes you feel like the room is kind of smoky. Copal is known for um, alleviating negative energy or bad spirits in your household or around you. So I like to, I actually keep a stock of copal and um, sage. This is the white sage, this is also incense. Um, the sage is a bit strong. The copal is a much lighter scent. So, um, you know, if you feel like you, like there's negative energy or nobody's getting along in your house, it's good to have, you know, the copal. Um, I bought some charcoal. I actually have some loose copal as well. That's hard to light. It's like the little rock form, the natural form. And I bought some charcoal to help with that. And lastly, I bought frankincense and mirth incense. Frankincense and mirth incense is good um, because, you know, this is also something that kind of alleviates negative energy from around you or evil spirits. Like sometimes, like if you're highly um, alert, you can kind of feel when something's, like if you feel depressed or sad all the time or your energy's just down and stuff, sometimes it's good to light these things around you. Um, just because there are things that we cannot see with our two eyes that the unforeseen world world exists. So, you know, for me, I just like these just to keep me in better spirits and to also um, just make the house smell better. So I feel like if I'm gonna make my house smell better, I'm gonna use things that actually purify the air and alleviate, and that's known to alleviate negative energy. Um, I also bought a nice little dish, but I don't have it anymore because I ate it, but they have a salad bar section and they have like organic food and vegetarian section. And I had bought something called Ethiopian stew. And um, there was something else I bought. Let me see, it's just written here. Trying to remember. Hot bar, nope. I had bought something called Ethiopian stew. It was okay. They had something called lentil coconut soup. That's the one I wish I would have gotten because I, I wasn't crazy about the Ethiopian stew. Um, I like Ethiopian food, but that wasn't like a real Ethiopian um, restaurant. So, you know, they probably just go and buy a recipe. So it wasn't all that. Um, but the, everything else I ate was really good. Like I really didn't like as, as, asparagus like that. I didn't really know how to make asparagus real good because I didn't grow up eating that. But they had like, I bought some asparagus baked stuff from there and it was really, really delicious. I wish I would have bought like a whole, um, a whole plate full of that. Cause I had also picked up some vegan pasta that they had called Taco Mac and I wasn't really crazy about that. I actually wanted more of the experience. So I was like, okay, I need to stick to my greens. Yeah, so that's pretty much my, my shopping haul. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to um, check out our website. It's whatshouldmatter.com. We actually are selling What Should Matter sneakers. So support your sister. Um, I'm gonna be getting a whole bunch of clothes for, for this channel. So you know that I'm wearing the stuff that I'm promoting. <laughs> so I'm not just telling you guys, I'm actually gonna be promoting my own stuff soon. So um, like I said, just check out whatshouldmatter.com, order a pair of sneakers and a shirt. If you like what we're doing, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.